to take a look at the draft of Brock Parker and let's see what he does as he's looking through a Born of the Gods pack. Uh, we have to look. Can you put it on the big monitor, Rashad? This is hard for us to see on the little tiny. I see a Swordwise Centaur, a Ghost Blade Eidolon, Karametra. Karametra. How God good is Karametra? Harvest. I don't know how good that card I, you is. Know, I, I, I have it. not had a chance to play with it. I mean, it's a god. I'm sure it's really good. Swordwise Centaur, Ghost Blade Eidolon. I think it's the worst of the gods. Like, I think it's definitely the worst of the gods. It looks... Like, I don't know if it's decent or if it's bad. It's not great. I think great. Heliod's the worst of the gods. <laughs> I meant the worst yeah, of the, no, I know. the gods' gods. I think, I think it may be worse than Helios, anyway. It, okay, so he goes Ghost Blade Eidolon. Didn't even really seem to consider Karametra. No. He got the memo. I guess so. Yeah, I know. He's, his range is a little wider than ours. A little more experienced, probably. Now what? Temple, Pinnacle, Kiara's Follower. Not much. Some green, right? Ferris Band Tromper, Kiara's Follower. Kiara's Follower's got to be the best card in that pack. It's just, it's two colors, and he took a third color first. Maybe you go that way anyway. It's either that or like Nyxborn Wolf. But do you want a Nyxborn Wolf and pass Kiara's Follower? I think you speculate on Kiara's Follower I here. think so. Winamox draft. Ferris Band Trumpers up there yeah. for him. It looks like he took yeah, the follower. The the so funny sometimes with uh, some of the more older established pros, it's really difficult to get them to flash you a card. You know, <laughs> it goes against all their instincts to yeah, bleed yeah, yeah. any information. Sword of Centaur seems like a good pick yeah. here. It's better than Course of the Tides, right? Take the yes, two drop I over the so. four. A loyal Pegasus. Uh, there's some good white. I mean, he took the first pick white card, but I don't know if I'm taking. I think I Swordwise Centaur here. What about you? You loyal Pegasus? Uh, no, I, I like the Swordwise Centaur. Okay. And especially if I'm getting past one third pick. You right. Know. Well, you're getting past loyal Pegasus third. Sure. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm always a little. You're worried about the white scrum, aren't you? I, I am. I am. I'm, I'm at this point. At this point, I've actually. Passed a lot more Crow and Sky Guards than you would think hearing me talk Great. about first picking a Crow and I Sky I am guard. glad to hear it. I will happily stick to white. That's an Oath Sworn. Aspect of Hydra card that might just come yeah. all the way back around the table. Also a divination. If you would like to sign up. Doesn't seem unreasonable yeah. here. I think you take Oath Sworn, right? Because it's got the better top end if you can build the, the good sure. heroic deck. I mean, that card's swingy, right? You need the heroic deck to have it be any good at all. But, I mean, if you get enough tricks, Joseph it can be quite good. It gets big in a hurry. Please report to the side of its Got some setup cost, room. but... Yes. Uh, Reap what is sown uh, is the is best card. But yeah, this is our Vortex Elemental, which right. is... Right. I like that card. Is his only blue card the uh, Kiora's Follower? Kiora's Follower. So he has one blue card, one white card. I think I would take Reap what is sown. Okay. And Especially he since do. he's leaning Heroic. Like, he can be base green heroic, touching white. That seems fine. He's got a white bestow creature. Yeah, I think, uh, and it's not like he's been past awesome blue. I mean, Vortex Elemental's fine, sure. but. Blue, blue seems open, though. There's been a couple divinations. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. There's an aspect of Hydra, which is. So, Satessa and Starborn, not a, not a super amazing no, card. No, it's playable, though. It seems playable. The best thing I've heard about it this weekend so far is getting a chain to the rocks with it. Nice. He took Aspect of Hydra, which yeah. makes sense, especially since he's got so many heavy green. I mean, right. that, that's a trick which is only really good in the heavy green deck, but yeah. that's the deck that he's building so far. Yeah, I mean, that card, that card is very gay as mighty. <laughs> uh, take Acolyte's Reward. Maybe you'll have enough white for that to actually be good. Right. Or, Jeez. I mean, do you want the blue trick or the white trick? You're not taking the Charging Badger. Right. It's like the blue trick or the white trick. I don't think Sphinx's Disciple's good so enough. He's making a decision. He's got to make a decision. Yep. The white. Yep. You know the other thing that white has going for it? He hasn't passed any of it. Sure. Like There's another aspect of Hydra. There's a Nyxborn Ooh. wall. Yeah, green's open. He is absolutely correct to have moved into green with that Swordwise Centaur. I mean, I guess he half moved in with Kiora's follower, 
moved in with Centaur. Right. May have abandoned the other half of the Kiora's follower, but right. green looks open. He should get white in pack two, like somebody else. Okay, so, okay, so we're so hopping to pack two. see what he ended two. up with. Oh, we're going to hop to the deck review. Great. Yeah. Yeah, didn't have time to record the entire draft. Got it. We got one of those divinations came back to him, but that and the divination and the Curious Follower seem to be hanging out in the back. Yeah. Neither one of them is as good as Reap would have sown. So he's looking to be right. And if he open, and he still, he still has a little room if he opens up a blue oh, yeah. bomb. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, if he opens up like Prophet of Crufix here. Yeah. He's basically got two or three good white cards. One very good. Like Reap would have sown is better than any of his blue cards anyway. Plus he's got the uh, the bestow. Okay. Here we go. Horizon Chimera. Here's huh. downfall. Awkward. The best green or white card is Laguna Ben Elder, but there's another green and blue. I, you take Horizon Chimera? It's not even clear he has to first pick it. It might even come back if there's no other blue green player. But there's nothing. Wow. I think I take Please. Horizon Chimera. I'm not happy with this pack. No. No, this is bad news. Like, his options are. He's also to thinking take about the Shredding Winds. Oh, really? I would take Laguna Band Elder over Shredding Winds, I think. Yeah, he can take a filler creature in white. Uh, yeah, he that can is speculate on a second blue green creature. Yeah. Wow, first pick Laguna Band Elder. So sad. Yeah. I feel like the chance that I get past blue and switch into blue green is high enough that I might have speculated on Chimera. But okay, there's Observe Analysis. Oh, Phalanx Leader. Wow. Never mind. We got a deck now. <laughs> no, 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 no more messing around. <laughs> Survey says Green White Heroic. Yeah, Voyage is End, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that is the best non rare in Theros? Oh, I, I, it's the card I, I'm, yeah, it's the card I most want to see when I open a pack. Yeah. Yeah, and he didn't pass any white, and he kind of knew that he didn't pass any white, right? He didn't get much, but right. like the, somebody on his right did him a favor, cut off all the white so that I would get passed a Phalanx later. Yep. I'm not going to pass it to you. I don't care how much work you did. I can move in. You passed me a Reap with a stone. What were you thinking? Oh, wow. Look at that Battlewise Hoplite. Yeah. Sad, sad Battlewise Hoplite. No, it's going to go into the deck of the guy on his right who cut off all the white. <laughs> Reap, it's not a green-white deck, right? He right, passed Reap right. with a stone. It's probably a blue-white. It could be red-white, I guess. You take Snarecaster here? You have to, yeah, you have to take the Snarecaster. Yeah, you know, especially you have, you have the aspect of Hydra. You know, mm -hmm. you're, 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 you have the Reap what is sown. Like, you know, you're like, oh, five mana. Like, tap that guy down, attack with everybody, Reap what is sown. You're dead. That sounds good. Time to feed. Wow. Sign me up. And Thusa. Isn't Stolchen. time to feed, like, exactly what Green White Heroic wants, though? I mean, I get Enthusa is large and heroic, but... I guess for him right like, now, he might be just thinking that he doesn't have a lot of large creatures. But he doesn't have removal. Like, you're not... You're going to get past more large creatures in green and green. Sure. You're not going to get past more removal And then he takes, he takes the time to feed. Yeah, there, you don't get removal spells in green and white. Right. There just aren't very many of them floating around. Especially removal spells that trigger your heroic stuff. Wow, there's another Horizon Chimera. But Sedge Scorpion's the pick. It's funny. If he hadn't put that Kiara's follower in his sideboard, somebody on his left would be putting together an awesome yeah. blue green deck. Because they would have taken that Horizon Chimera. They'd be getting the other one that Brock passed in pick, pack one. But yeah, him killing the Kiara's follower, effectively taking it out of circulation, meant nobody was bribed to go in. Another such feral invocation. A lot of red. Yeah, I like Corsair. that Essian Corsair here. He's light on monsters. He's he's a, he's a little he's a little yeah, it's funny, light like, right now. Depending on what he drafted previously, I can imagine any of any of those three green cards being the pick here. Right. I think I like Corsair here. Yeah. I think I'm with you. But yeah, I could have imagined set the pick being Sedge Scorpion. I could have imagined the pick being Feral yeah. Invocation, just depending on what he'd done previously. I just think he needs a creature mm -hmm. that could you know that's a good trade that's, that's a good man for sure. There's <laughs> another one? This is not his first pack, right? That's the third one. There's three floating around this first pack of Theros. Hedonist? Maybe just take Last it. Last breath? Maybe kill it. Yeah, put it in the sideboard. Or just take the Chimera. Maybe a couple more come back. 
What are you splashing for three two fires? Yeah. yeah. Hedonist. Hey, yeah. You got your or two one? <laughs> now I I don't want to play Hedonist without red in my deck. Like I'll play Hedonist if I can oh, sack it. Oh, Warrior's I Lesson. I, I like that card. There's also the Nylea's Presence. Yeah. See, now, if he had, if he had the Sarajan Chimera's Nylea's Yeah, that gets a little, a little disgusting, yeah. But, yeah, Warrior's Lesson. Oh, okay. now kick to the end. The Battlewise Hoplite came back. It's okay. hanging out in his sideboard. Crazy. Nobody's blue white. It's a good solid green white heroic, right? Yeah. It seems it seems I mean he doesn't have he actually doesn't have a ton of heroic creatures. He's got you the Centesano Sworn, he's got the Phalanx leader. Yeah, you know what the problem with this deck is? You can't play turn two Phalanx leader, turn three Oath Sworn. It doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mana in this deck's a little sketchy. Like it's base green with a Phalanx leader. Right. I mean, it's fair. I mean, you, it's don't, really usually, just you the usually don't leader? want to play a turn two Phalanx leader. I guess it's really just the Phalanx leader that's double white. But yeah, he's definitely base green splash white. You just, it's hard to All splash right. for a double. So this is our last pack. Oh, there's a Voyaging Seder. There's another Anthusa Satessin here. Huh. But he's got to take the Seder, I think. You think? Why? I mean, you just talked about how clumsy his mana is in terms of double white, double green needs. Like that lets him do he doubles both up things. one planes. Yeah. That's tricky. That's Power level's below Enthusa, though. Yeah, I mean, you had convinced me you don't need to play Phalanx Leader on turn two. I'll just wait until turn five or six. Yeah, but even on turn five, you might need that second planes. Tricky pick. All right, he yeah. does Seder. Now what? All right. There's a said scorpion. There's a warrior's lesson. Ooh. Uh. Underpowered pack. Second warrior's lesson. Did he take said the first scorpion? warrior's lesson? He did. Yeah. It's a thought seize. Oh my Wow. Gosh. Ordeal lightning strike. Booster draft number 35. Some red mage is going to be happy. Number 35. I feel like there's been some Booster weird overthinking five. going on at these draft tables. <laughs> Certainly there have been some good cards getting passed. It takes Asian of Horizons. It's a solid body. He might have yeah. might wind up with random free blue mana in his deck. It's like uh Sea God's Revenge. Jeez, like the blue splash could have been so ridiculous. Yeah. But you take Corsair. It's not like he's ever taken any bad cards. It's funny how you could be splashing for, you know, triple chimera. I mean, he could. He, I mean, a his, follower. The, the straight green blue deck is actually. Oh jeez. The straight green blue deck that was here. Abandon the phalanx leader. Is is pretty nutty. Yeah, it might be better than the green white. It's really just the phalanx yeah. leader. Oh, I've reap what is sown. Yeah, and you might even be able to splash that. You're not splashing phalanx leader. No, you're not Spl splashing splash phalanx. the reap. Yeah, yeah no. Green blue might have worked out better in this seat. I don't know if he was supposed to wind up there. Like when he got past phalanx leader, you have to just move in. Sure. Uh oh, surge. Rashad saw it. What Colossus? Colossus. We're gonna be telling the story of that coverage draft at Valencia for years. I think both players had a monstrous Colossus of Atrios. Yes. Rashad and Marshall, right? Yep. How many life did Rashad get up to before Marshall killed him? 176. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, that was a crazy game. I, I don't know what happened to Oh, there we go. That was just... I was like, is, are we having technical difficulties? Yes, we're having technical difficulties with Brock's head. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, a lot of grip tied and nothing else. Mm. Crazy. Yeah, yeah the I, green I, blue deck would have been better. Green blue deck would have worked out better. But I can't blame him. Like, he went in Phalanx Leader. I, ch I yeah. shut down. Like, that pack came up. You're like, yeah, you take, you take Phalanx Leader. Now we have a plan. And it's just, no, there's too much... Too many people fighting for the white cards. Yes. Would have been way better off in green-blue. <laughs> yeah, what, green-blue would have had a Vaporkin here? Wow, you the green-blue deck is so good. He's getting yeah. scraps. There's just yeah. nothing. Even the green is dry. Right. 
I mean, to be fair, the white was even dry in the opening packs a lot of times, right? You know, Lagona sure. Ben Elder is like a card he had to first pick. Yeah. God, if he Horizon Kamara's there, that's the play. That was the fork. Right. If he Horizon Kamara's there, then he can what, are, are, shipwreck Singer. What is going on <laughs> at this draft times? table? No, well, even ignoring the grip times, I feel like this is like the third draft we've watched where Shipwreck Singer has just been like left like to float adrift. People don't like blue black. I mean, some people swear by it. Some people think it's still as good as it was in Triple Theros. You can be blue-black control, but, but like do, all the heroic decks have scared. That if everyone's doing this, if everyone feels that way, you get such a good price on your cards. Traveler's Amulet. Yeah, wow, this the testing Griffin. This did not work out. Does he even have enough cards for his green-white deck? Oh, I think he. I think he does. I think he can piece it you together. Sure? Yeah, I, I do. I don't think I don't think he has uh, a very deep pool of uh, premium cards. Yes, but I think he's got cards all the way through. Oh, mnemonic wall. <laughs> Wrong draft. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Battle priest. Oh, he takes the mnemonic wall. <laughs> he, <laughs> he doesn't is, want someone isn't. recursing stuff against him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Warrior's lesson came back. Yep. All right, fine. I'll take it oh. this time. The Warriors Lesson Triple Horizon Chimera deck could have been insane. Yeah. I mean, I recognize you're always going to be rooting for the Simic Trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you this time. It would clearly have worked out better. It would have required giving up on Phalanx Leader. And, and it, it, it requires jumping off a, a off ledge. Phalanx Leader. Yeah, it, require, it also requires... No, all you have... You, Look, the ledge, oh, right. I the ledge with Laguna Band Elder is not a very steep ledge. Sure. Right, you speculate on Horizon Chimera over Laguna Band Elder. Right, right. Then you take Phalanx Leader and kind of wish you'd taken Laguna Band Elder, but then, like, there's no white, and now you're that much more likely to take the next right. Horizon yeah, Chimera the is, and the next Horizon Chimera, right. the Nylea's presence to maybe... Yeah, I think it. that was the fork. That was the place right. where if he speculates on green-blue, I think he winds up green-blue, and I think his deck is significantly better. Well, how good would this pack three have been if he's green-blue? He would have right. been like, you know, third pick Griptide, fifth pick Griptide, sixth pick Vaporkin. It was, the blue was deep. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's definitely a blue-green Air Force with just plays yeah. that you can make almost every turn. And, you know, you're going to restock with, with two Warriors lessons. You're just not going to run out of cards.